Hey friends, I want to share with you how I repurpose my content using AI and how I create my short clips. This is super important because creating long form content is sometimes it's not enough. We need like little pushes that make people aware of our content. And this has helped me so much, for instance, on Instagram Reels to promote my own video podcast. So that's pretty cool. Um, and I have two tools, both are free. You can try both of them. So I'll show you the two tutorials and you can choose which one is easier for you. Let's get started with the first one. It's called CapCut. So this is the app. It's for free, uh, CapCut. So with CapCut, what you use is you can uh, bring your recording from Zoom, StreamYard, PhotoBoot, whichever platform you use to record. You can use any of the ones I mentioned. Uh, it's like a Zoom, recorded Zoom call. And you just drag and drop the video. What you will do is to click on a, this little, I think it's called ratio. Yeah, it's called ratio. And we don't want the horizontal, we need the vertical. The vertical is 916 and this is for, yeah, clips. So let's say you, you did it. And then from your long video, you will need to choose which are the highlights. The highlights are the most important parts or kind of the essence of your video. So it's up to you, which one is it? Like, let's say that mine was from the minute number one until 1.30, let's say. So I can crop it and then 1.30, crop it. And then I have this, this is my clip. I just remove the size and this is my final clip. I really like that. And what I will click is on text, create captions. It takes some seconds. And this is the AI part I use. Uh, so it's done. What you, you can also, um, well, yeah, I, do, I don't like this tiny, tiny, captions you can make it bigger so on the basic you can i don't know put it like to a little bit bigger and also you can add some extra effects on that i think this is cool so for example let's say let's run it i like it so then you can just click on uh file export and you will have your clip and remember for instagram reels i think it's 60 seconds maximum so keep it under 60 seconds this is option one with CapCut. option number two is with riverside uh, let's go to the super basics of riverside riverside is the one that i'm using the most to be honest um, it's even more intelligent let's say than CapCut. so i will show you I have my studio on Riverside and I will go to studio. Um, I will, and actually Riverside asks as you, know, like some questions like, are you using microphone, blah, blah, blah. Because they want to keep the maximum quality of your video. So I will just tell them now I'm, I'm using my microphone, I'm using this webcam, join studio. And this is how it would look if I would have a guest. So me side by side and the guest would be here. This is pretty cool for when you have interviews. But if it's only you, you're in the big screen, start recording. Uh, you can talk whatever you want to explain, to share if you're a coach consultant and stop it whenever you are done with it. And because now I don't have the time to show you all these um, from the same video, I will just go and grab one of my old videos. For example, this. And once I have the bigger video, I will just click on create magic clips. It's somewhere here. And then Riverside will do it for you automatically. This is amazing. Um, you will have all your clips. So what Riverside does is that AI uh, detects which is the highlight or which are the core topics on your longer form video. For example, this one was pretty good. Overcoming perfectionism, uh, giving too much for free, the importance of distribution. So it grabs the main ideas and then the clip related to that idea. So for example, let's say 
I, I want to check this one. Um, yeah, so then I can check how does it look. The captions are automatic. You can just choose uh, which color and which style you want, or if you don't want captions. And you can also edit it in here, right? Once you it's done, you can also add your logo, by the way. I added mine. This is like to just to share like, OK, the name of my podcast, the colors of my brand and where is it available and you can export it. So that's it, how I do it. Um, these are the two ways I will leave the links if you want to check any of those. And I hope that this is useful. Remember, don't overthink it too much. Make it super practical for you. And if you need help, I can I offer consultations for entrepreneurs who are communicating online. And I, l I would love to work with you if you are a coach, consultant or a teacher and you want to start spreading your, your message online, you want to build an audience, a community, and you just have like a bigger purpose of teaching or sharing your ideas online, um, you can email me or just check my, my mentoring options on the description below and let's see how we can co-create something together. Thank you for watching. I hope that this was useful. And just let me know if you need any other tech tutorial, I want to make this like a series uh, according to your needs. And besos, amigos.